Are you asleep, Toriel? No carding. I was not. Sit down. So you've been sick? I don't know it until Marina just told me. Where did you see her? She passed by the house just a while ago. Damn that woman! So she insisted on seeing you. Told her not to bother you. Oh! It isn't any bother at all. Toriel! I was even hiding her for not letting me know right away. She was so excited when she showed up. At first, I thought you're dead or dying. There's not a time when she doesn't worry about something. Sometimes, I even think she worries about what will worry her next. But she has a reason to be worried. You look very sick. I'm just a bit feverish, that's all. Your whole body is in fire. How did you get that fever? I don't know. I guess it's the tiny one on my foot. Maybe you didn't go to the dispensary as I told you. It's nothing serious? Nothing serious? If you can put a man of your size and strength to a bed, it is something serious, but you need not to worry. I sent Marina to the dispensary. What for? I told her to ask the doctor to come and look you over. She should have thought that before. Are you dreaming? Do you think the doctor will come when we have no money to pay him? But you don't have to pay him anything. He's a public doctor. He'll treat you for free. Maybe if I got there, but do you think he'll take the trouble of coming to me? What do you think I am, a congressman? He must come. He's paid to take care of the sick, wherever they are. But will he come? Hell no. Nobody comes to me. Nobody. Not even those firemen. They did not come. What firemen are you talking about? Do you remember the house we had before this that was burned to the ground? I remember. I even helped you to build this one. When it was burning, did the firemen come to put the fire out? No! Oh yes, they came, but only up to there. When they found out it was only my house burning, they drove away, pretending it was only a grass fire they saw. Now why would they do that? Don't I deserve to be treated like any other citizen? Maybe they found out that once you never brought a cedula. <laughs> oh, Toriel, try to forget that. Thinking about that will not make you feel better. Could you forget it if everything you had in the world went up in flames? I can't forget that. I remember it to my dying day. Toriel, why don't you move out this cemetery? Maybe it's the place that brings you bad luck. Why don't you out up this house? Somewhere else. Anywhere but here. You live all alone here? Among these deads? Maybe just because we live here with the dead, people think we are as good as dead. If the doctor does not come, Toriel will move you to the hospital. To the hospital? To the free ward? Oh no! So what if it's a free word? You know very well, you cannot afford to be choosy. I was there once. Do you know how they treat you there? They will neglect you until you are on the brink of death. Then they send young doctors to practice on you. Not for anything in the world would I go there again. Look, don't you want some prisoners hovering like you like a butterflies? Oh, how I wish I would get that sick just to bear them. I would hate to get well. Don't try that kind of talk with me. I won't fall for it. I won't let those nurses or anybody else touch me. If I'll die, I'll die in spite of all the doctors and pretty nurses in the world. My God, you should not hear. My God, you should in the hospital now and not hear arguing with me. Got a chicken's heart. You're just like my wife. I get a tiny wound and a little fever and she thinks I'm dying. Can you imagine me dying of a tiny wound like this? this age and with this body? Does it look as if I died to it? Is this a dead man's ghost you're talking to? We're never sure of our fate. Toriel, strange things happen to us when we least expect them. I'll bet you in a few days I'll be well and strong. Then we will continue our work. We'll make up for the time we lost since I got sick. 
I haven't tried doing uh, doing it alone, have you? No, I. It's all right. I know you couldn't do it. Not alone. You need me. But don't get impatient. I'll get well sooner than you expect. Oh, so this little wound got you really scared, huh? Why? It's only a scratch. You did not even breathe the drop. You know what old folks say about those accidents? What do they say? They say, if one gets wounded or gets scratched by the bones of the dead, they will die. Can you believe that? Of course! Ha! Huh, you're just a child. Besides, it was just an accident. A corpse did not rise from his stump to plunge one of his ribs into my foot. Nothing like that happened. So there's nothing to be scared of. Even then, you get that wound in the cemetery. You'll never know what they will do to punish us. What can they do except hunt us? And who is scared of ghosts? I'd rather offend living people. And if they catch you, what do they do? They throw you in jail. The dead are more kind, Carding. I haven't had a good night's sleep since we started this thing. It's so mean and ugly, just like stealing candy from an innocent baby. Carding, if you start being sentimental in this world, you'll end up starving. Oh, here comes Marina. Where's the doctor? He's not with me. See, I told you I would have died in surprise if you came. Why he couldn't come? No, he was not with me. The temperature is still rising. What did he say? He wants us to take Tori to the dispensary. How? He couldn't sit up. Who says I can't even sit up? I can. Don't. I know I can. If I really try. The doctor must be crazy. The doctor's afraid that instead of paying, I would beg from him. If he really came, I would have begged from him. Are you sure you made him come? Of course I did. Now, what shall we do? You're both afraid I might die. For all I know, I might outlive both of you. Listen to me. I'm afraid the fever has touched his brain. Let's take him to the hospital. It's not easy as that, Cardi. He hates hospitals. We'll drag him to it, if we have to. We can't force him to do anything he hates. You'd better go down and get a jeep. We haven't even a centavo to pay for the driver. I can take care of that. Why are you so worried about me? What a silly question. It's not a silly question. Why should you worry that I might die? Haven't you always wanted for me to die? Are you? You were never really happy with me, were you? I know you've grown tired of me. No, Toryo. Don't be ashamed to admit it. Toryo, what gave you those ideas? Just let me alone to die. This could be your chance to get rid of me and take another man. Toryo! Carding hasn't taken a wife yet. He's quite a man too. Even before I'm dead and gone, so he already started to lay his hands on me. Carding, please forgive him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Don't worry, I understand her well. Do you think he can take care of you as I have been doing? He cannot take over our business when I get sick. What business does he mean, Cardin? Don't mind him. He's gone mad. It's a business that requires no capital. Torio, stop it! What does he mean, Cardin? Don't listen to him. He's out of his mind. Do you want to know where the man I brought home came from? What did you do? No, you don't. I robbed the dead people around us. What? And you stole from them? And you sell what you found? Yes, why not? Why let treasures rot underground when above that ground people like us are starving? No, Torio, you didn't do that. But I did. Stop it! I can't stand it! I hate them. That's why I robbed them. Hate them? Did they ever try to harm you? Marina, stop listening to him. Maybe that's why he made me to do what he did. One night as I was coming home, a strong wind overtook me. I ran for shelter to the nearest town, that one near the road belonging to a dead millionaire. It was so beautiful. It looked more like a palace than a place for a dead. It had thick marble walls and a roof and festive lights. Inside it was a dead body in a coffin. It was dry in the rain and comfortable even in death. Why should that dead merchant have marble walls and a roof to protect him from the rain while I was outside soaked to the bone and shivering waiting to go home to a dark dank place with a cardboard roof that leaks even in the lightest rain. Why? He's dead and I'm alive. I have more right to the things wasted on him. Don't you think so? 
Don't you think we need thick walls more than the dead? He must have seen you, Toryo. Who could have seen us? We used to work after midnight. It was God. You really wanted to get rid of me, don't you? Take me if you can. I despise all of you. Toryo! Toryo! What happened? Dirty! Get some water, quick! Toryo, are you alright? I'm alright. Where's Cardi? Has he gone? I'm still here. I thought you had left. You're not mad at me, are you? No, I'm not, Toriel. I didn't mean it. What I said about you. I just said anything. You don't have to explain. I understand very well. I feel tired. You two talk together. I'll take a short nap. You're both afraid I might die. For all I know, I might not leave both of you. It's always a good